Hi, it's Alison Canavan and today, as you can probably see, I'm going to talk about colouring. But I'm going to talk about adult colouring, which was introduced to me actually last year by Ross Purcell actually, because we were talking about the fact that I'm always colouring on James's books when we're out in restaurants. And actually my mum used to give out to me because I used to get really annoyed if I'd worked on an area really well and James would come in and kind of colour on it. So yes, that's a little bit childish, but luckily for me, I discovered the world of adult colouring and what a beautiful, de-stressing and mindful world it is. But this is not a new thing because one of the first psychologists to introduce Colouring as a form of therapy was Carl G. Jung in the early 20th century. And he did this by introducing it with mandalas, which you've probably seen, which are circular um, images, which are to promote relaxation. And they have their origin actually in India. But today, this has just taken off by storm. I know I gifted everybody uh, some presents of colouring books last Christmas, and I also got some gifts of colouring books. So this is just one I started last night. I colour all the time. Uh, I just colour because it helps me to focus, it helps me to relax. But most of all, what I start to notice as you start to colour is the types of colour you choose and the depth of colour you choose can be quite reflective of the mood you're in and where you are in the moment. So you can tell a lot by how someone colours and as you start to colour, you'll start to notice the different colours and the different sequences that pop up every day, which is really, really interesting. But one of my favourite presents that I got this Christmas was the Mindfulness Colouring Diary. And this is brilliant for people on the run, sitting on trains, who travel a lot and who are in airports. So it's an actual diary, but while you're on your travels and you're keeping your dates in order and your times, you can actually do a little bit of doodling and colouring to keep you calm and de-stressed maybe in that rush hour if you're on a really busy train, surrounded by the chaos that is modern life, you might take up a bit of colouring. I searched high and low to find colouring pencils that were in a little tin. And these are brilliant because they actually have little grips for your fingers and they're in a tin, which is brilliant because I found that in the packets, whereas they're great when they're at home, they're all over my handbag in various numerous handbags. So these are great. I found these, they're Faber-Castell. I got these in a little shop in Gorey. But if you want to go for any of the colouring books that I have here in front of me, Animal Kingdom, some of them are just so incredibly, stunningly illustrated. Hours of relaxation, hours of fun. What it does is it forces you to be in the present moment. You don't worry about any of your stresses. You don't worry about any of your problems when you're just focusing on that one little picture. All good bookstores everywhere have a colouring book, so get colouring and enjoy being in the moment.